Hello all, uh, welcome to my channel uh, Weight Lecture. Today we will discuss multiple choice questions on veterinary parasitology. Okay. Question number first. Uh, in strains of nematode where uh, drug resistance is developed, it may be transmitted genetically by options A, dominant gene, options B, recessive gene, option C, partially recessive gene or options D, all. The right answer is options uh, D. That is all, okay. Uh, in nematode, uh, where the strains, uh, where drug resistance is developed, uh, that strain is uh, transmitted uh, genetically by all uh, process, like uh, dominant gene also transmit that recessive gene and also partially recessive gene, okay. And uh, if we see that uh, the current studies actually show that uh, the uh, uh, there is a presence of uh, multi-drug resistance, uh, parasitic uh, nematodes, uh, they develop uh, that um, resistance against uh, different drugs like albendazole, tetraprozen, ivermectin, tetramisoles. And if we talk about like especially parasites, then trichostrongylus, uh, taladorsegia, and homuncle, they actually show uh, that uh, resistance uh, toward uh, most of the testis drugs. Okay. And if we talk about uh, the factors uh, which is mainly responsible for this, uh, the development of this uh, drug resistance, uh, then uh, first reason is uh, that uh, decreasing drug con uh, concentration within a parasites. Uh, there may be two causes: either uh, uh, the uptake of the drug uptake, the uptake quantity is uh, already low, or uh, that's under those drugs is used, or uh, uh, there's an increasing efflux uh, mechanisms of drugs like efflux means like uh, uh, without acting uh, without reaching to that uh, their targeted sites uh, some mechanisms develop within a parasites which uh, uh, leads uh, to that uh, um, elimination of a drugs uh, fast okay second uh, I, that the parasites may develop something uh, that uh, uh, properties which may inhibits uh, this uh, drug activations process that uh, drugs only remain in a proactive form uh, third is that uh, either they develop some kind of mechanisms which uh, that uh, uh, that uh, inactive uh, that um, inactivate uh, the that active drugs uh, okay and uh, fourth one is like a gene amplification amplification process okay questions number uh, two mercury chloride test is used for the diagnosis of option a trypanosoma evans options b trypanosoma equipedum option c trypanosoma equinum or options d all the right answer is options A, that is Trypanosoma evansi. okay. Mercury chloride uh, test is actually uh, used for the diagnosis of this Trypanosoma evansi. okay. If we talk about this uh, Trypanosoma evansi, uh, then uh, the testis flies mainly act as like a biological and psychical vector of this Trypanosoma evansi, while uh, tabernus fly act as a mechanical vector of this Trypanosoma evansi. okay. And this trypanosoma eventually mainly cause surra disease, which is also known as a tibursa disease in case of camel. Okay. And if we see that it's for acute and acute uh, form of the surra, uh, this seems like uh, related to like anthrax, snake bite and nervous form of ketosis like. And this uh, trypanosoma eventually is also that first pathogens of mammal, which is uh, reported by this grievous events. Uh, okay. So he name is like trypanosoma evanshi. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, uh, trypanosoma anamesi, trypanosoma camelli, since it's caused a tibursa disease in camel, trypanosoma uh, sudansi, trypanosoma vanae, uh, xylans, these are the synonyms of this trypanosoma evansi, okay. Let's talk about uh, trypanosoma cruzi. Uh, this trypanosoma, if we, uh, if we see this trypanosoma cruzi, uh, its multiplications uh, take place within the cells, that's intracellular multiplication we can see. Uh, actually, uh, in those type of cells which are related to that uh, um, defense mechanisms like reticuloendothelial systems, okay, and also uh, steroid muscles, especially of heart. And this uh, trypanosoma is transmitted through cyclical development, uh, and it causes uh, Chagas disease. Trypanosoma cruzi causes uh, Surra disease. Trypanosoma uh, in the trypanosoma evansi causes Surra disease. Trypanosoma cruzi causes Chagas disease. Okay. And hematophagus bugs, uh, also known as kissing bugs, uh, these are the vectors of this uh, Chagas disease. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, Trypanosoma equipedum. This Trypanosoma equipedum uh, causes dowry, which is a venereal uh, disease of dog. 
and uh, if we see that uh, this disease this is mainly uh, transmitted like sexually transmitted disease so it is transmitted by means of coitus in a horse too okay and it is characterized by uh, there is a presence of a dollar spots in horse okay let's talk about a uh, trypanosoma congolens uh, among all trypanosoma this trypanosoma congolens species the smallest trypanosoma it causes nagana disease in cattle okay uh, trypanosoma uh, equinum trypanosoma equinum causes uh, uh, maldi caliras which is also known as disease of hips okay and uh, in this uh, regarding this trypanosoma equinum uh, another question is also asked in exam point of view like in this trypanosoma chiantoplast substance this chiantoplast is related to that mitochondria okay uh, note uh, we all hear about like uh, sleeping sickness this gambian sleeping sickness in human is mainly caused by this trypanosoma also this trypanosoma gambesians species okay and uh, one other exam point of view this uh, posterior station development is seen in uh, sometimes ax uh, so the right answer is uh, posterior station development is seen in trypanosoma cruzi trypanosoma theleri and trypanosoma malopagium uh, actually this uh, uh, this posterior station development and anterior station development these are two form of a biological mode of uh, this uh, transmissions okay and in anterior uh, uh, this uh, station development transmissions occurs via like a bite of infected organisms while in case of uh, posterior stations uh, the transmissions occurs uh, via contact and like uh, infected feces extra questions number three which of the following insect listed below cause a uh, uh, meiosis options a dragonfly options b flea option c a screw worm fly or options d mite the right answer is option c that is a screw worm fly okay uh, this is screw worm flies also known as a uh, cochleomaya macellaria uh, they cause a uh, meiosis uh, meiosis uh, is the term which is related to like infestation of living animal with a uh, with the larva of this uh, flies uh, of mainly that's dipterans uh, groups okay uh, if we see that type of meiosis, then we found there is a facultative meiosis, which is actually seen in scaliphorids, obligatory meiosis, which is seen in osteriors, uh, cutaneous uh, meiosis, which is uh, seen in lucilia. This lucilia is also known as blowfly meiosis, lucilia sericata, known as uh, blowfly, nasal, like ostrus nasals, both ostrus ovis, uh, they cause a uh, false gid. Uh, this ostrus ovis is a uh, Viviparous flies because it doesn't give the egg, it directly gives larva and it deposits a 500 L1 larva in the nasal passage. While uh, this boat fly, gastrophilus known as boat flies, this gastrophilus is a stomach uh, fly of horse, it's found in that stomach of horse. Right? Okay, uh, uh, next, uh, meiosis is like somatic meiosis, a hypoderma or varva fly cause somatic meiosis. Okay, here are some. Uh, uh, that uh, groups tabanidis uh, mainly includes uh, horsefly osteridis uh, are comes under uh, osteridis uh, includes uh, boats flies hippobocidas includes uh, forest flies and cats califorids includes uh, blow flies muscidis includes uh, house flies and stables flies simulidis includes black flies or buffalo gnats like uh, simulium's uh, vectors okay simulium's is actually the vector of oncocerca volvulus uh, which mainly uh, uh, related uh, of causing like river blindness okay ceratopogonidae which includes midges okay questions number uh, four in insect the body part uh, which act as a protective structures and which provide for the attachment of muscles is known as option c endoskeleton options b uh, ascleride option c abdomen or options d exoskeleton the right answer is options uh, D, that is exoskeleton. In insect, uh, the the body part of this insect which act as a protective structures and also provide uh, uh, as a medium for the attachment of muscles is known as exoskeletons. And if we see that uh, the mounting process during the mounting that uh, insect uh, actually sets falling structure, exoskeletons, uh, forgut lining and also a respiratory systems lining, uh, they sheds off, okay. Questions number five, insect which poses a sponging mouth part and do not bite are options A, housefly, options B, flea, options C, mosquito, options D, deer fly. The right answer is options A, uh, that is a housefly, okay. 
uh, insect uh, which actually uh, poses uh, that spongent mouth part and they do not uh, bout, uh, bite uh, that is a house flies. Uh, if we see that house fly, they actually prefer to breed in garbage and manure conditions. Okay, here's a note uh, which is important for the exam point of view that most species of flies have one pair of antenna and three pairs of legs. Okay. Uh, question number six. A key role in the transmission of arthropod bone disease is played by which of the following system? Options A. Circulatory system. Options B. Digestive system. Option C. Excretory system. Or option C. Respiratory system. The right answer is options uh, uh, B. That is digestive systems. A key role in the transmission of arthropod bone disease is played by many digestive systems. Most of this arthropod bone disease is a uh, fine to be transmitted uh, via this uh, digestive routes. Okay. Questions number seven. Which order includes wingless insect vector with a complete metamorphosis? Options A. Siphonaptera. Options B. Hymenoptera. Options C. Anoplura. Or options D. Thysanura. The right answer is options uh, A. That is Siphonaptera. Okay. Siphonaptera orders mainly includes uh, wingless insects vectors uh, with their with having uh, their complete metamorphosis. Okay. And while hemiptera mainly includes uh, those insects which having incomplete metamorphosis, okay. And hymenoptera, hymenoptera is the largest order of this insect, which mainly include uh, that many species of bee, wasp, or hornet, uh, soft flies, ant, extra, okay. Uh, while another option there is the anoplura. Anoplura is not uh, the order of like insect, which is the order of like uh, uh, suckling lice, okay. Uh, thai, uh, Thysanura, which mainly includes wingless insect, uh, which having a chewing mouth part, and they also have a long uh, uh, thread like antenna. Uh, and we talking about their metamorphosis, and this uh, here it, its metamorphosis is also incomplete. And uh, they also poses uh, three thread like uh, uh, threads like uh, tails at the end of this uh, abdomen, and uh, uh, they also have a tiny appendages. Uh, uh, underside on the abdomen and uh, if you see that in some spaces uh, their body is uh, covered with scale okay questions number uh, eight because of development of immunity a certain degree of immune mediated hypobiosis is seen in uh, option c hamongus contratus options b trifostrum gylus uh, columbiformis option c Ostrotagia, Ostrotagi, or options D, and Cyclostoma caninum. The right answer is options uh, uh, B, that is a uh, Trico strong uh, gylus uh, uh, columbiformis. Okay. Uh, because of this uh, development of its immunity, a uh, certain degree of immune mediated hypobiosis seen in the Trico strong gylus columbiformis. Uh, okay. We all know that uh, this hypobiosis is seen in case of trichostrum gylus columbiformis. Let's know about this. What is this hypobiosis? Hypobiosis is actually that uh, facultative arrested uh, development. Okay, it's a cert certain type of adaptations process which mainly uh, facilitate uh, the uh, these the larva uh, form uh, to persist for a long period of time in the host and also uh, enable uh, that the parasites to uh, capitalize. Uh, an optimal opportunity for transfer because of this hypo hypobiosis is nothing is just a trump for the given for this adaptations at which uh, at which uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this larva uh, larval form can uh, remain for a prolonged period of time within a host uh, uh, as an insisted form uh, so they get a major chances for that uh, uh, for the transfer major time for the transfer okay uh, questions number nine and dash host is one in which early development of parasites usually up to infective stage take place without reaching maturity options a definitive host options b paratonic host option c normal host or options d intermediate host the right answer is options uh, d that's intermediate host okay an intermediate host is uh, those hosts in which early development of parasites uh, usually up to infective stage take place uh, without reaching uh, maturity because adult form uh, will be formed in case of definitive host. Okay, 
and uh, intermediate host is actually those host which mainly harbor larval stage or a sexual uh, leave mature stage and if we uh, see the example of this intermediate host then uh, for this liver fluke snail is an intermediate host okay uh, so another is the definitive or final host uh, is those host which harbor this uh, adult and mature stage or sexually mature stage okay if we talk about a uh, paratonic host Paratonic host is actually, uh, they were known as like a, a second or third intermediate host in which uh, parasites doesn't undergo, uh, undergoes any development, but uh, the parasites remain ingested form. And, uh, and this paratonic host is actually ingested by the definite host along with this ingested form, okay? For example, sh uh, fish act as a paratonic host for diphylobotrium latum. Next is transport host. Uh, host uh, which uh, transfer uh, infective stages uh, without any uh, development in its uh, body from place to place. Like uh, for that Ascaridae galli, earthworm act as like a transport host. Okay, a reservoir host is uh, usually a natural host, but uh, uh, host doesn't get infected from uh, parasites uh, in case of reservoir host. But uh, they they become a source of infections for other host. Okay, and for trypanosoma, while games act as a reservoir host, okay. Uh, next is carrier host, host which uh, harbors uh, actually subclinical form or residual infections in the latent phase without showing any clinical symptoms of the infections, okay. In case of intermorbid histolytica, men act as a carrier host, okay. Uh, normal and usual host, like uh, this is a particular host for a particular uh, infections, like uh, for dipylidium caninum, dog act as a normal or usual host. Abnormal host uh, that infections uh, which occurs in uh, one host in which it does not normally harbor, it does not normally present. Okay, for like uh, diphylobotrium latum, this human children uh, act as like an abnormal host. Okay, questions number uh, 10 A dull colored domestic fly having three dark longitudinal stripes on the thorax and a checkerboard uh, pattern on the abdomen. And a reddish brown uh, tip uh, of the abdomen is a uh, options A housefly, options B eye fly, options C flesh fly, or options D uh, green bottle fly. This is a characteristic of this uh, flesh fly. So the right answer is option C, which is a flesh fly. Okay. Questions number 11. An important insecticide uh, widely used, having quick knockdown uh, capability. And also, uh, they, are, they have low toxicity to mammal. Is dry from a plant is option A, pyrethrum. Option B, proposal. Option C, uh, dial green. Option uh, D, chlorodin. The right answer is option uh, A, that is pyrethrum. Okay. An important insecticide, uh, which is widely used and which have a very quick knockdown capability and uh, which is a low uh, toxicity to mammal is actually derived from a plant which is known as pyrethrum, okay. Proposur, which is also known as bagon, is uh, actually widely used in case of uh, that cockroach control because uh, it is a stomach poisons with residual contact actions. Uh, this is a formula which is actually uh, used to calculate uh, the uh, dose or volume of certain, uh, uh, okay. N1B1 is equal to N2B2, whereas N stands for normality and B stands for volume, okay? Uh, let's uh, solve our one question by using this formula, okay? To prepare a 100 gallon of 0.5% diazinon emulsion from a 20% diazinon emulsive pickles concentrate and water, how many gallon of 20% concentrate should be used, okay? So, uh, put this value on the formula N1 that is 0 0.5 uh, into V1 which is 100 okay is equal to N2 which is 20 into uh, V2 which will be X okay. So, the right answer will be 2.5 gal okay. So this type of formula can be used such type of questions okay. Questions number 12 monoclonal antibodies may be used as options A vaccine options B diagnostic tool option c both options d none the right answer is options uh, b that is diagnostic tool okay monoclonal antibodies are actually used for this diagnosis purpose 
this monoclonal antibodies are actually man made antibodies uh, they are the antibodies which is a uh, mainly work by recognizing and finding a specific protein or a specific type of antigens only like a simple one kind of cancer cells only okay so uh, they only recognize uh, one particular protein uh, and uh, uh, these are uh, these monoclonal antibodies are uh, widely found uh, to be used in case of this cancer uh, diagnosis cases okay uh, questions number 13 presence of the head crown is an important features of options a uh, tenia species options b uh, echinostoma species option c anoplocephala species option c none the right answer is options b echinostoma species okay uh, presence of the head crown head crown uh, refer like a, there's a uh, presence of a head collar with a spine okay is an important features of echinostoma species uh, uh, it comes under family, uh, belong to the family Kynostomatidae. Okay, the Kynostomatidae family includes uh, flukes, uh, which having uh, more or less uh, uh, that elongated body, and uh, they have a presence of that uh, large and strong ventral sucker, uh, which is not uh, uh, far behind the smaller oral sucker, which is uh, uh, near to this oral suckers. Okay, and if you see this, uh, this the uh, oral sucker, this oral sucker is do, uh, that dorsally as well as laterally, they are surrounded by a head collar and uh, bearing a single or double, or uh, there's a single or double row of uh, this spine, and uh, in this case, okay. And here are some common echinostomes, uh, which is mainly found under this kind of dog, cat, and pig that is echino uh, chasmus. Uh, Perfoliatus. Okay. Questions number uh, 14. Which organism is amoeboid and have a single flagellum? Option A. Histomonas meleagridis. Option B. Trichomonas vaginalis. Option C. Trichomonas gallini. Or option D. Tritrichomonas fetus. The right answer is option uh, A. That is Histomonas meleagridis. Histomonas meleagridis uh, is actually amoeboid in shape. And they have a single uh, flagellum, okay. Histomonas meleagridis mainly causes histomoniasis, which is also known as uh, infectious enterohepatic or a blackhead disease of Turkey. Uh, its egg, Histomonas meleagridis eggs, is actually carried by these uh, poultry, uh, uh, poultry ascaris, which is Heterachis gallinera, uh, which is a large intestinal worm of fowl, okay. And uh, those poultry which is infected with this uh, parasite, Histomonas meleagridis uh show the sign there's a presence of sulfur sulfur yellow drooping circular depressed uh, uh, there's a liver lesions uh, is seen in case that uh, the poultry which is infected with this uh, histomonas meleagridis the histomonas meleagridis actually uh, found in uh, that liver and sicca while uh, uh, this hexameter meleagridis actually found in duodenum and small intestine of turkey questions number uh, 15 Jew prophylaxis denote which of the following? Option C, protection of Jew animal against the parasites. Option B, vaccination of Jew animal. Option C, chemoprophylaxis of parasitic disease. Or option D, none. The right answer is option uh, D, that is uh, none. Actually, uh, Jew prophylaxis is the term uh, which is used, uh, uh, which is uh, used uh, that uh, for the, that the use of, there is a use of wild or domestic animal. Uh, which is not the reservoir uh, host for some diseases in order to that uh, divert that blood seeking malaria vectors from that human host. Okay, there's a use of wild or domestic animals uh, to prevent uh, that malaria. Okay, questions number 16 ciliated embryo of uh, cotyloda is called as option A, Miracidium, options B, Hexacanth, option C, Coracidium, options D, Cystis sarcoid. The right answer is options uh, C, that is a uh, coracidium. Okay, ciliated embryo of cotyloda is called as coracidium, while uh, miracidium is actually a uh, free uh, swimming ciliated, uh, which is the first larva of this uh, trematode uh, that comes after that hatching and that penetrated a suitable snail, uh, which is an intermediate host, and there this uh, miracidium uh, larva develops into sporocyst form. Okay. Hexacanth is a uh, is a term. Uh, hexacanth is uh, actually a oncosphere, which is mainly uh, surrounded by a protective immunophore. 
and uh, it's measured about 26 to 43 mm in diameter to protect against external factors in the environment. This stage is known as hexacanth embryo as, uh, as a six embryonic hooklet are located on this oncosphere. So the term hexa will be given. So hexacanth, okay. Cysticercoid. A cysticercoid is a larval stage of this uh, tap bomb uh, which have a similar appearance as like of cysticercus but uh, having the scolex that is a uh, uh, filling completely the in including fruit okay questions number 70 the main immunoglobin which is responsible in the protection of host against intestinal parasitic infection is options a immunoglobin a options b immunoglobin g option c immunoglobin m or options d all the right answer is options uh, b that is immunoglobin g okay the main immunoglobin which is responsible for the protection of the host against intestinal uh, parasitic infection that is immunoglobin g okay immunoglobin a actually found in predominant conditions and secretions and that uh, many fold increases of IgM antibody is found in trypanosomiasis infections. Okay. Uh, if we see that cell mediated immune response uh, require uh, T cells activations, uh, cell uh, mediated immunity is found in case of cysticercosis, infection of cysticercosis. Okay. Questions number 18 hemorrhagic, uh, hemorrhage skin nodules in horses are found in options A. Hypoderma species, options B, Oncosarca cervicalis, option C, Parafilaria multipapillosa, options D, Cetaria quina, Equina. The right answer is option C, C that is Parafilaria multipapillosa. Hemorrhage skin uh, nodules in horses are found in case of uh, the Parafilaria multipapillosa infestation. Okay. Parafilaria multipapillosa is a parasitic nematode that mainly affect horses it causes hemorrhagic subcutaneous uh, skin nodules in the head as well as uh, upper uh, forelimbs which lead to bleeding from the skin okay it is also known as filaria hemorrhagica or a summer bleeding too okay questions number 19 uh, tenocephalid scanis act as intermediate host of options a dip dipetalonema recunditum options b Diphylidium carinum, option C, both, option C, none. The right answer is option C, that is both, okay. Tenocephalid scanus uh, free, act as an intermediate host for both dipetalonema recunditum and dipylidium carinum, okay. Questions number 20, leeches are options A, unisexual, options B, hermaphrodite, option C, sterile, or options D, parthenogenetic. The right answer is option uh, B, that is hermaphrodite. Leeches are hermaphrodite because uh, they contain both uh, male and female uh, genitals organs uh, within a uh, same uh, individual. Okay. Questions number 21. Large nematode known as options A. Oncosarca species. Options B. Dracunculus medinensis. Option C. Uh, Dictyophyma renali. Options D. None. The right answer is options uh, C. That is Dictyophyma renali. Okay. Large nematode, which is known as dictyphoma renali. Okay. Questions number 22. Quadrinucleate cysts are formed in which of the following? Options A. Intermoeba equi. Options B. Intermoeba histolytica. Options C. Intermoeba hartmani. Options D. All. The right answer is options uh, uh, B. That is intermoeba histolytica. Quadrinucleate cysts are formed in case of intermoeba histolytica. And if we talk about the like, drug of choice for amoebiasis, like in terms of that is metronidazole. Okay? Questions number 23. Uh, polar cap is always present in the oocyst of options A. Imeria aubernensis. Options B. Imeria bukidnonensis. Options C. Imeria brasiliensis. Options D. Imeria bombayensis. The right answer is option C. Uh, C, that is Imeria brasiliensis, okay. Uh, polar uh, cap is always present in the oocyst of Imeria brasiliensis, okay. Imeria, let's talk about some Imeria. Imeria tenila, that mainly cause sickle coccidiosis and fowl. Imeria bruneti, cause rectal coccidiosis. Imeria stidia is the first parasitic protozoa which is discovered, okay. Uh, 
uh, I marry a Obina. Uh, in case of I marry a Obina, giant Saijon sir uh, will be seen in its life cycle. I marry a Necatrix uh, is the most pathos, pathogenic intestinal coccidiosis is caused by I marry a Necatrix. I marry a Journey's most pathogenic coccidia of cattle. Okay. I marry a Giluruthi. Uh, is mainly found in Abu Mazam of sheep and goat. I marry a intricata uh, is I marry a sheep which having largest oocyst. I marry a dromedary uh, affect only a dromedary camel. I marry a dabliki is most pathogenic I marry of swine. Okay. I marry a leucarti. I marry a solipedum and uh, uh, closiella equi. Uh, they causes coccidiosa uh, coccidia in horse. Okay. I marry a truncata that causes coccidiosis in goose, uh, also found in kidney tubules of goose. Okay. I marry a adunodis and I marry a meliagridis. They cause coccidiosis in turkey. Okay. I marry a stidae and I marry a irresidua. They cause coccidia in rabbit, where I marry a irresidua. Developmental stage occurs in liver of rabbit. Okay. Liver of rabbit. Okay. Uh, note. Uh, that Iberia, if we see that Iberia cyst, they contain uh, four sporocyst and and each sporocyst contain two sporozoid. Okay, total eight sporozoid. Okay, in case of iso cyst, they contain two sporocyst, but each sporocyst contain four sporozoids. So at last, they they also produce eight sporozoids. Okay, but if we talk about cryptosporidiums, they only contain four sporozoids. Uh, there is a which are not enclosed within a sporocyst. Okay. Questions number 24. The tropical fowl mite is options A. Dermanisus galini. Options B. Ornithonisus bursa. Option C. Both. Options D. None. The right answer is uh, the right answer is options B. That is Ornithonisus bursa. Okay. Tropical fowl mite is Ornithonisus bursa which it causes of means uh, uh, that means cause might cause uh, like uh, might causes means okay. There are uh, two types of might be found like borrowing mites and non borrowing mites. Borrowing mites mainly includes Sarcoptes, Noto, Idris, Demodex, and uh, Nemidocoptes. Okay, while non borrowing mites include Sauroptes, uh, Coryoptes, Otodectus, okay, Dermanicious, okay. Uh, okay, borrowing mites uh, like Sarcoptes. Uh, if you see that Sarcoptes, the predilation uh, site of this mite in a dog is uh, like ear, muzzle, uh, faces, and elbow. And uh, in case of a peer, this uh, pig, in case of a pig, this Sarcoptes mite is found in ear. In case of cattle, the Sarcoptes mite are found on this neck regions and tail regions. In case of ship regions, uh, it's mainly found in those, those regions where uh, there's no wool, okay. And uh, this uh, uh, diagnostic uh, features of the sarcoptic means includes like uh, scratch reflex, intense uh, itching, and also there's examination of the skin scraping, okay. And uh, if we talk about demodex, demodex mainly cause red, uh, red manges of dog. Uh, it's mainly characterized by there's a absence of uh, pruritus and uh, Characterized by there is a uh, head downward uh, postures of the demodex. If you see that's demodex, uh, it's head a uh, downward postures we found, and this demodex goes much deeper into that uh, up to the dermix, and it's formed that demodectic mange in dog, and uh, squamous demodiosis and postular follicular demodiosis. The two type of uh, demodiosis it's caused in dog. Uh, out of which that uh, the postulars and follicular demodex is more severe and which is also known as red mange too. While in case of cattle, uh, it's only formed like a pea-sized nodules which mainly contain caseous materials and mites, okay. Nemidocoptes, Nemidocoptes is another types of mites which is mainly found in fowl. Uh, Nemidocoptes mutans which mainly causes scaly leg. Nemidocoptes gallini which causes uh, deep plumbing itch. Nemidocoptes pili which causes scaly face tassels, foods in fowl, oxta, okay. non boring mites, which mainly include sauroptes. Sauroptes cause each mites of ship, uh, cause a ship scab. Uh, Coryoptes, autodactus, autodactus is the commonest uh, mange uh, mite of dog, 
and gags which mainly cause that otitis of mainly external otitis external and dog uh, dermatitis uh, is actually that uh, dermatitis cause uh, dermatitis gallini cause red mite of poultry okay uh, questions number 25 out of which is soft trick options a butt trick options b uh, tampons option c both a and b or options d isodes the right answer is option c that is both a and b okay uh, soft tick includes bird ticks and tampon both okay while hard tick uh, includes uh, mainly ichodidae family okay if we talk about uh, hard tick uh, there is a presence of chitinous uh, scutums rigid chitinous scutums while in case of soft tick this scutum is absence okay and uh, there is absence of uh, festoons or eye in case of uh, uh, this uh, Ichodidae family. Okay. Uh, okay. And then Ichodidae uh, includes mainly uh, Ichodis ricinus, which is also known as Castor Binti. Okay. In this uh, type of uh, thick questions, we have to remember how many hosts uh, they have, and also we should remember their another name, and we should remember. Uh, this stick is inornate form or ornate okay inornate uh, like ornate refer to that a uh, colorful form male and female can be distinguished in case of this ornate tick okay uh ichodes ricinates uh, uh, name is like castor bin tick sometimes question sucks like which is a castor bin ticks so we should uh, tick that ichodes ricinus okay uh, it have uh, three host and it is an inornate tick and it is also the uh, vector for that sir Babesia divergence uh, in West Europe's conditions. Okay, Ichodias uh, canisuga. Uh, this is a British dog tick. Uh, uh, it's have varieties of host and it's also in ornate tick. Okay, Ichodias hexagonus. It's a hedgehog tick. Okay, it's also in ornate tick. Uh, next, uh, that next group is Hemophysalis. Next region is Hemophysalis. It's also that hard tick. It has three host and uh, it's also in ornate tick. But uh, as case of like Ichodidae family, uh, there is a festoons and eye. Both are absent. But in case of this Hemophysalis, eyes absence, but they have festoons. Okay. If we talk about derma centers, uh, these are ornate tick. Sometimes which is that uh, uh, among all uh, tick, which one is ornate? Sometimes such type of questions can be asked. So we should remember that derma center is ornate tick. Okay. And you have uh, three host or sometimes one host. Okay. Derma. Uh, center reticulatus have three host, derma center snittens have one host. Okay, uh, amblyoma, uh, which is also known as bone tick, it has three host and it's an ornate tick. Amblyoma variegatum uh, actually transmits hard water disease in cattle. Okay, uh, bufilus, which is uh, known as blue tick, it has uh, one host and it's an ornate tick, uh, it's a vector of Babesia. Okay, hyaloma bone legged tick it's also known as bone lactic and it has a two host and it's inornate tick okay repicephalus uh, it's also inornate but it has two and three host tick okay repicephalus appendiculatus brown ear tick uh, it's also a vector of east coast fever of cattle uh, uh, they have a uh, three uh, host uh, tick okay repicephalus ebertsi it's also known as red leg tick it has a two host okay okay let's talk about a uh, soft tick soft ticks includes uh, argus persicus which is known as foul tick uh, it's mainly transmits borrelia anserina which is mainly cause foul spirochetosis okay otobius magnini which is also known as spinosia tick only Thodorus, which is known as sand tampon okay uh, here's some note we have to remember this note too uh, ticks are controlled by using acaricides, which is known as those medicines which kills ticks, okay, by burning pastures or by use of tick vaccines and biological control, okay. If we see that uh, tick vaccine program, it will be more successful in those cases of like one host tick case, okay. Class Arachnida uh, mainly include mites and tick. Uh, arachnida class includes this mites and tick and uh, it's mainly characterized by there's a presence of four uh, pairs of legs and its body is divided into uh, that cephalo which is head parts thorax parts and abdomen parts there's absence of antenna if we see there's a mouth part they carry two pair of appendages okay mouth part uh, chelicerae and pulse okay 
क्वेश्चंस नंबर 26 इन क्रॉस सेक्शन ओसोफेजियल लुमेन इस बल्ब शेप इज इन ऑप्शन सी हिस्टोमोनास ऑप्शन बी बेबिसिया ऑप्शन सी कोटोगनिया ऑप्शन डी एस्कारिस द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज एस्कारिस लेट सी दैट फॉर्म ऑफ ओसोफेगस इन केस ऑफ निमेटोड If we uh, that filary form also figures is found in case of Burset uh, nematode, uh, bulb shape also figures is found in case of ascarids ascarids, double bulb shape uh, also figures is found in been found in case of auxurids, which is pin worm, musculoglandular also figures is found in spirioids and filaroids, stichosum also figures is found in trichurids. Uh, Rabditi form also figures is found in larval and free living nematodes that is Rabditoidae. टाटा It is commonly found in sheep, cattle, and goat. If we see its location, it's mainly found in small intestine. Uh, if we see there's adult, which is 60 centimeter in length, and each each segment contains single set of genital organ. Genital pore are open irregularly, alternate pat pattern. Uh, if we see its uterus, that is dumbbell, a uh, dumbbell in shape. Okay. If we see that sir, its eggs are passed into this two. Pyriform organ and this if we see this egg, they have no pyriform apparatus. Its intermediate host mainly includes oribatic mice. Okay. Questions number twenty-eight. Parasitism is a state in which parasites dependent on the host. Option A biologically, options B metabolic metabolically, option C pathologically, or option D physiologically. The right answer is option C. Uh, B that is metabolically. Okay. Parasitism sir, is a state in which this parasite is dependent on the host metabolically. Okay, uh, there are two type of uh, association under this parasitism, like is parasitosis and another one is parasitiasis. Okay, parasitosis in case of parasitosis, this association in which parasites actually injure the host and produce the lesion. Parasitosis. But in case of parasitiasis, uh, the parasite do not injure the host, and uh, the, there is no production of this lesions. Okay, parasitiasis case. Let's talk about different type of parasites. Uh, the parasites which is situated uh, that uh, on outside of the body, host body, that is known as ectoparasites. Uh, this major, if we see that majority of ectoparasites, they are arthropods. Okay, leeches and uh, tick. are example of this uh, temporary ectoparasites while monogenetic trematodes are permanent ectoparasites mange mites are ectoparasites which is uh, situated uh, subcutaneously okay uh, subcutaneously okay endoparasites endoparasites are those parasites which lives within the uh, that uh, host body such like a gi tract pancreas liver lungs blood plasma extra okay obligate uh, if we talk about obligate uh, trunk the obligate itself receive, uh, receive that uh, the itself means that uh, uh, that animal doesn't survive without it okay so parasites which are completely dependent on host uh, during a segments all or or all of its life cycle uh, such type of parasites is known as uh, that's uh, obligate parasites like complete parasites okay for example tape worm fluke Nematodes are example of this obligate parasites. Well, facultative parasites like parasites normally not a parasites, but they become a parasites uh, when accidentally they eat an or enter a wound. For example, blow fly, maggots, strong gyloids, etc. Periodic uh, parasites are those parasites which visit host only at a time when they need food. Like fowl tick, Argus persicus is an example of periodic parasites. Erratic or aberrant parasites like parasites which is found in an organ uh, other than that is normal organ. For example, facial hepatica which is actually found in a uh, liver, but if they found in lungs, then it is that erratic or aberrant parasites. Okay, incidental or accidental parasites the parasites which is found in those host 
other than that's a normal host like liver fluke in horse rather than sheep then it's incidental or accidental parasites temporary parasites parasites which are parasites only during a part of their life like tick or ox larval fly okay permanent parasites whole throughout their life cycle they are parasites such type of parasites known as permanent parasites lice mites nematode trichinella spiders are that's permanent parasites hyperparasites are that parasites of parasites like plasmodiums in case of mosquito mosquito itself is a parasites plasmodiums are parasites of mosquito so this plasmodium in mosquito is an example of this hyperparasites pseudoparasites object uh, which is mistaken for this parasites such type of condition is known as pseudoparasites okay pseudo means false monocenous or homozenous parasites like coccidia amoebia which is developed is only one type of host such type of condition is known as monozenous or homo homozenous parasites heterozenous or uh, parasites parasites develops in two or more types of host then heterozygous parasites eurozygous this heterozygous parasites which having wide range of host so it's known as eurozygous stenozygous heterozygous parasites which having narrow range of host so stenozygous okay questions number 29 temporary relationship without metabolic dependence in which one organism transport or shelter on another is called as option a commensalism option b foresee option c symbiosis option d mutualism the right answer is option b that is a foresee okay temporary relationship without metabolic dependence in which one organism transport or shelter on another that is known as foresee the relationship in which one member is benefited while another member is neither benefited nor harmed such type of relationship is known as commensalism for example of this commensalism is like entamoeba zinzivalis which is found in uh, that mouth of human in case that uh, entamoeba zinzivalis uh, get a benefit but uh, human doesn't get a, neither benefited nor loss entamoeba coli in human intestine is also example of commensalism trichomonas uh, in human intestine also example of commensalism okay so this type of relationship is plus zero relationship plus means like parasite is benefited but host is neither benefited nor in loss so this plus zero relationship okay permanent association with physiological and metabolic dependence and which is obligatory for both the member and in which both are benefited like uh, both when they both come together they only both benefited and they need each other such type of relation is known as symbiosis okay termites and their intestinal protozoa is an example of this uh, a uh, symbiosis relationship so this is this positive relationship okay both are benefited uh, when they come in a relationship okay symbiosis which is not obligatory means they can uh, uh, live their independent life too such type of uh, relationship is known as mutualism see anemone on back of other animal is an example of like mutualism okay explore expolitation which includes two terms like predations and parasitism okay both parasitisms or predations in both case one is benefited and one is totally in loss okay a harmful association between two organisms of same or different species in which one is always harm that is host and others always benefited which is parasites okay uh, parasitisms uh, the difference between this parasitisms and predations then both are physiological associations it's common uh, but in the case of parasitisms uh, it's uh, actually small size but in case of a predator is a, a big a big one signs like a, uh, what is a predator is big and prey is small okay and uh, in case of parasitism there is a not a long term loss which may lead to the death of animal but in case of predation uh, it is a it is a too much loss so which lead to the death of that prey okay okay expolitations if we see uh, it's also a different types like uh, is it's a good competitions where uh, uh the exploitations in this it is exploitation there is a one is uh, one get uh, benefited one get it lost so positive negative relationship relationship in case of competitions both are negative negative relationship because because of competition both are in harm okay amensalism there is one uh, got a totally lost and another is neither in loss and neither in benefited in case of neutralisms both get nothing affected Uh, because of their association so zero zero relationship okay questions number 
which of the following is the scientific name of lung flu options a paragonimus options b fasciolia option c dirocelium option d prostogonimus the right answer is option a that is paragonimus okay paragonimus westermanni is the na uh, name of lung flu okay syngemus trachea is the name of gape bomb gape bomb of uh, okay melophagus ovinus shipkid menopon gallini shaft louse dictyophyma renali kidney bomb of dog which is the largest worm to tabanus equinum horse fly uh dimanishus gallini which is also known as red mite of poultry okay uh this much for today thank you